The trial of NIDA members and activist Erkin Ustamzade continued in Baku Grave Crimes Court on April 24 with lawyer speech. Lawyer Fakhreddin Mehdiyev, speaking first, noted that confessions obtained from Mohammed Aziz of Shahin Novruzla and Bakhtir Guliyev through torture during preliminary investigation cannot be accepted as evidence. For the crime, there should be public threat and injured party. If there is no injured party, then there is no crime either. But if there is a punishment, that's terrible, said Mehdiyev. He noted that Nida rejects violence, and the rule of law and democracy are priority for the movement. He then asked the court to acquit Zeyn Mamadli. Lawyer of Bekhtiyar Guliyev Javad Javad stated that the main reason of the hunger strike of the youth was that they wanted justice. These youth do not want mercy from the court, but justice, because they are innocent, he said. Lawyer Javad reminded that the right to privacy of the accused has been breached and called on the court to decide the care fairly. Later on, Zahar Gurbanov's lawyer Ertan Guliyev noted that he agreed with his colleagues. Guliyev, referring to the statement issued after the detention of the youth by the Minister of National Security, said that youth's presumption of innocence has been violated. Its aim was to show people that they are drug addicts, he said. Mohammed Aziz's lawyer Fariz Namazla and Rashad Akhundov's lawyer Namik Hajiev in their speech stated that charges are baseless and false and called for their clients' acquittal. Note that before the process, police blocked the roads leading to the court. Large number of police officers had been deployed in the area. Because of the lack of vacant seats in the hall, a lot of people and journals had to wait outside the court. During the hearing, parents wanted their sons to stop the hunger strike, but the activists asserted that they would continue the action. Note that it has been eight days that the youth continued the hunger strike, protesting public prosecutors' request for long prison sentences. The seven activists of Nidasovic movement were detained in April and May of 2013 and are charged with planning to use Molotov cocktails during a mass protest in Baku on March 10, 2013. Some of the youth are also charged with illegal possession of drugs. Member of the Azad Genjik organization Ikino Samzade, who is co-accused with Nida activists, was detained on May 17, 2013. He was first charged with hooligans and then additionally with organizing riots and attempting to participate in them. Amnesty International has recognized all of the youth as the prisoners of conscience.